Hi there, students. Meiosis and litotes. Okay, wow, two terms. This is to do with rhetoric. Let's see, litotes is when you want to emphasize something by using the negative of the opposite characteristic. Well, what a mouthful. Um, so, it, um, for example, it was not inexpensive. Here I'm emphasizing the fact that it was actually very expensive. So I'm using litotes to say not the opposite. Well, he's not handsome. He's really ugly. OK, and this is the idea of litotes. However, meiosis is understatement, is reducing the intensity of something. So, um, yeah, if you've made a real mess of something, um, then your aim is to make it look smaller. Litotes is trying to add emphasis, whereas meiosis is trying to decrease it. So, for example, um, meiosis, um, I'm going to have a word with him. I'm going to be very angry with him and I'm going to tell him off, is the reality. But I want to make it sound um, less uh, strong. Well, it, let's see. It does require a bit of improvement. I'm trying to reduce the intensity. Whereas litotes, um, it's not good. It's very bad. And that's the difference between meiosis and um, litotes. Lito litotes. Litotes is using, normally using the negative to amplify the positive characteristic. So this is not at all easy to do. I'm amplifying how difficult it is. This is a tad difficult. It's a tiny bit difficult. I'm trying to reduce it. I'm trying to not uh, not let you be feel very worried about it. Um, it might be better. Yeah, it's OK. Actually, it's very bad, but I'm trying to decrease the emphasis, whereas Litotes, you're trying to increase the, um, the the emphasis on it. OK, so, um, yeah, the, the food was a little bit salty. Um, I'm reducing, but the food was not tasty. I'm here. I'm I'm stressing the fact that it really wasn't very nice. Okay, so litotes and meiosis. You could give me some examples. Let's see. Um, uh, meiosis uh, comes from ancient Greek. From meiosis, a lessening. Uh, meio, I lessen. Um, and uh, litotes comes from uh from greek from litos meaning plain or meager let's see both of these words are words are uh, talking about rhetorical ideas yeah um and as to formality i think i would probably give both of these a seven in formality maybe even an eight in formality you might, could you use them in a semi-formal conversation? You're going to find most native speakers don't know what they mean and you're going to have to explain them. Use them in semi-formal or formal writing. I, I think that's where you would use these. So notice at the end of the day, litotes and meiosis are actually opposites of each other. Yeah, litotes, you emphasize the strength of what you're saying by denying its opposite. Yeah. So you're using understatement to 
amplify a positive attitude with irony. Whereas meiosis is the absolute opposite and you're trying to make it seem less important than it actually is. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Lytotes versus meiosis.